Chicanes are meant to slow down cars. You probably got some really annoying ones in your hometown. But today we're gonna be a little bit of an outlaw and we'll show you how to deal with different kinds of chicanes in the fastest way possible. Each chicane is unique, but they're also on a spectrum with two extremes, tightening and widening chicanes. Let's see what the difference is and how we should approach each variant of them. To understand and nail a chicane, you must think ahead. A chicane is made up of two corners, an entry and an exit corner. When you're approaching the chicane, you must think about where you'll end up after that first corner and if that's the best possible position to nail that second corner. In case of a tightening chicane, take Baku's T5 and 6 for example. The first corner is wider than the second, which makes the racing line not as obvious as in a more symmetrical chicane. You really want to slow down through that first corner so you can set yourself up for the best entry into that second turn. This way you'll optimize the exit speed for the straight right after the chicane. Montreal's T8 and 9 are a textbook example of a widening chicane. The first corner is tighter than the second, which means you can carry more speed through there, which then compounds with the speed you can build up through the second turn, which gives you an advantage down the straight after. Now that we know the basics, let's analyze how to optimize Baku and Montreal chicanes. Now let's head over to Azerbaijan and take a look at Baku T5 and 6. We're coming down a straight, so we have to slow down quite a bit. Through T5, we want to keep the car to the left, so we can have the best line to nail the exit corner. There's a straight right after this chicane, so it's important to get out of here with as much speed as possible. In the track titan analysis, we can see how we can achieve this. We break hard into the first corner, turn it all the way to the left to get the car into the right position for turn six we give it a little throttle to move the car to that second apex and only once we hit that second apex we fully get back on the throttle and fly onto that straight now let's see how this is different in montreal's widening chicane we brake just a little bit before turn eight and fully steer the car to the right deep into the corner once we're at the apex we can already put our foot back on full throttle to carry as much speed through that wider turn 9. Chicanes are often thought of as unfortunate annoying parts of a racetrack, but they're quite misunderstood. A lot of drivers try to maximize their speed through high speed corners, when really looking at the slower ones like chicanes can improve their lap times a lot more. A typical mistake we see is not getting a good exit. then getting overtaken by a competitor on the following straight. In most cases, the focus should be on the second part of a chicane, because getting a better exit out of there will give you a benefit down the entire straight after it. Getting a better exit out of the first corner only gives you a speed advantage until the second corner. An exception to this rule is the widening chicane, where a good exit out of the first turn builds up speed through the second corner, leading to an even higher maximum speed on the following straight. But this is not the case for most chicanes. We hope you've learned something today. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Check out the Track Titan platform in the description and click this playlist right here to continue learning.